Another bounty. Something under this. Now, oh, Jesus, looks like the swamp tore him apart. <laughs> Poor bastards. Rose? Rose Allen, right? No! No! Hey, 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 I'm not gonna hurt you. See, I'm uh, not with those assholes. No! No! God damn it, I'm here to help. Tucker sent me. Wait, wait, I said that I am here to help you. No! You're with her! You're from the work camp! No, no, I'm with Tucker. I, uh, I, I do runs for, yeah. They starved me. I wouldn't follow her orders, so they wouldn't feed me. Well, I mean, it's a work camp. I mean, everyone's got to work. I'm not a slave. I'm not going back, do you hear me? I'd rather die out here. Okay, 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 God damn it. Go on.
Hey, me again. Boozer says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. He keeps asking me what goods I'd do, and, and maybe he's right, I don't know. He got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm, and it looks pretty bad. I broke into one of those, uh, uh, what the hell do you call them, the mobile medical units, and I got him sterile bandages. And I, I hope it's enough, you know, but Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I don't, I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. Not that it mattered, son of a bitch Copeland parted it out anyway. <laughs> Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank that you had painted for me? Well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone, too. As soon as I get it back together, I, my bike, I mean, I can get Boozer patched up. We're going to ride north. Fresh start. Yeah, a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway, I guess I'm just saying that, uh... I might not see you again, you know? Drop. Tucker, Tucker, Deacon St. John Day. 
Deacon St. John to Ada Tucker. Deke, did you find her? Uh, yeah. Tia Tucker, I found her and... Uh, she's on her way back. Wait, you let her go? Alone? Well, she took one of the squatter's bikes. She said that she was going to be able to find her way. She, look, she didn't want... <laughs> She took one of the squatter's bikes. She said that she was gonna be able to find her way. She, look, she didn't want my help. Oh, God damn it, Deke. You should have brought her in. Well, why, Talk? Why? Is there something wrong? I mean, is there some reason she wouldn't want to come back? No, no, of course not. It's just a kid like Rose. She doesn't have a goddamn clue about what's out there. Well, I don't know, Talk. Maybe she does. St. John out.
they see me. No, 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 they can't. No, 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 can't hide in here, they see me. the last of them. Uh, guess your days of setting ambushes around here are over. Well, we look like the type to have an underground bunker. Yeah? Okay. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It's the Wild West again. And some men are acting like law and order are a thing of the past. But last I checked, this is still the United States of America. And in America, the right of property shall not be infringed. We have the right to claim territory, to hold it, and to defend it. Sure, we took this land from the Indians. No point in rewriting history, but we took it by force. And force is the only thing that will move us now. We're not gonna roll over for a bunch of bullies. If the feds, or rippers, or marauders think they're gonna come rolling into my wilderness, they got another thing coming. The strongest survive. The strongest take, and the strongest will succeed. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. That's something Cope Law and Order are a thing of the past. What the hell are you talking about? But yeah, you got a point about force being the only thing that matters now. Force and a lot of goddamn ammo. Deke, thank God. You've got to go after him now. They're getting away. Go after who, Tuck? Slow down. It's Roach! It's Roach! You know him, he used to ride with Leon and Alvarez. But I trusted him. Oh, God damn it, Tuck, you shouldn't have. No, he's taken the rest of our drugs and headed north. My boys lost him somewhere around Marion Forks. All right, I'll see if I can track him down. Here's the hatch, yeah. No, you had one. This is handy. A map. All marked up. Yeah, and that. Nice. Get
guess they won't be needing it <laughs> anymore. I spotted him and it looks like he was, uh, like he was waiting for someone. Deke, don't let him get away. I, I want him alive. Uh, what the shit, Tucker, alive? More shit has come up missing. I need him to tell us where he stashed it. Okay, shit. All right, I'll see what I can do. But come on, Roach, where do you think you're going, huh? Still back here, you son of a bitch? Fine, all right, let's do this the hard way. Making this harder! <laughs> 